ABC senior Pentagon reporter Louis Martinez. Uh, Louis, I know that you've got a lot of sources on this and you've been confirming much of this information throughout the evening. Uh, what more are you learning tonight? And, and have we heard any update on whether any of these projectiles from Iran have actually landed uh, and done any damage in right. Israel? It's unclear exactly if the from U.S. sources, if officially yet, whether something has actually landed inside Israel. What we are hearing from U.S. officials is that United States forces in the region are shooting down whatever uh, drones or missiles may be headed towards Israel if they're capable. Uh, you spoke about earlier about exactly uh, about additional assets being sent into the region. Uh, we are aware that two U.S. Navy destroyers are in the region, but I think that's more for long distance um, intercepts. Um, but we do know that the United States does have in both Iraq and Jordan uh, some air defense systems. And it appears that at least some of those air defense systems were boosted in advance of this uh, Iranian, Iraqi, Iranian retaliation. And so therefore, one can assume that those um, uh, missile systems have been used now to bring some down at least some of these Iranian drones and missiles that have been headed towards Israel. And Louis, we know that the U.S. added additional um, assets into the region. Can you talk more about that? And are, are we talking about potentially you know, like boots on the ground, not necessarily on the ground, but on, on battleships and whatnot throughout the region? Uh, that's right. We're not inside Israel proper. We are talking outside of Israel. That's where U.S. forces are located. We know uh, that there are 2,500 U.S. forces inside Iraq, that there's about 900 that are inside of Syria. But there is also a sizable component inside of Jordan. And so those locations do have air defense systems already. So it's very uh, likely that uh, these air defense systems were boosted in advance of this retaliatory strike. In fact, we were told that the U.S. was sending more uh, personnel to the ground there in the region, as well as air assets, so that means aviation aircraft, um, and also uh, naval. And that's those two destroyers that we're talking about that are located in the Eastern Med. Uh, Mediterranean, and what they do is they have the capability of shooting down both long-distance incoming missiles and shorter-range missiles. But I think as we're talking about U.S. forces shooting down these drones and missiles on their way to uh, Israel, I think one can assume it's those shorter uh, distance systems that the United States employs when it tries to shoot down anything that's incoming towards their bases. And Louis, can I pick up on something that, that Steve mentioned there? I know we got the confirmed that there were drones and missiles, um, but we were talking about the, the ballistic missile system that Iran has. Do we have any confirmation that they've launched any of those yet towards Israel? No confirmation yet from officials that I've been speaking to with, but again, uh, this is a developing situation. And one of the things that we've been told as as per Martha Raddatz is reporting, is that overall the U.S. is anticipating somewhere between four and 500 drones and missiles uh, being launched at uh, Israel. Uh, that means this is going to take some time. So potentially uh, some of those longer range and faster moving ballistic missiles uh, could be used. But no, I don't have anything yet uh, from any officials I'm talking to right now. If anything, we're talking about the cruise missiles that have been launched. Um, and we should point out that even though it is a missile, cruise missiles do take some time to get to their targets as well. Um, they are not as fast moving as ballistic missiles, which take uh, a much faster, shorter time to get to a location because they go up higher in the air and then they strike at their targets.